College Sports Information Director Alan Babbitt here with the uh, Millican University women's basketball team after finishing an outstanding season here in the sectional semifinals at Hope College. Uh, head coach Olivia Lett with her players. Coach, if you could begin, begin with opening statement, then we'll open up for some questions. Um, first of all, I want to make sure that uh, just congratulate Hope. I thought they played an awesome game. Um, came out, were well prepared. Their kids played hard. Uh, and I think that's a testament to just the program that they've built um, and the history that they have. Uh, and kind of on that same note, um, you know, we've got our four seniors up here because of what they've built in this program. Um, Four years ago when they started, well, when most of them started, uh, they, they had eight wins. And so to go from eight wins to a sweet 16 uh, in their time frame just shows the commitment that they've got and uh, what they what they built um, and the time and effort that they've put in. And uh, it, it, it doesn't hurt this bad unless you've put in that much time and effort. And so I'm unbelievably proud of uh, these four. and and the la lasting legacy that they've left. All right, Coach, you, you know, you guys held your own against Hope most of the game. I mean, you guys had a good game plan. Uh, it seemed like their bench played a big, uh, a big role uh, as far as uh, taking the, uh, the keeping, keeping Hope kind of level when their starters were out. Uh, but wh what did you guys do so, uh, so well to uh, stay with them for so long? And then what, and then what happened in the second half? You know, I think that we were very aggressive. We attacked the whole time. You know, we got kind of punched in the mouth to start the game, and I thought that we fought back every time that they threw a big swing. Uh, and I think that in a game like that, that's super important, right? Because with the when you get the crowd behind you, when you get that momentum behind you, it's important to be able to punch back. And uh, I thought we did that in each one of those moments. Uh, you know, I obviously uh, Kennedy is an amazing player for them, and she hit some huge shots early. But I thought their point guards handled our pressure really well, and were able to kind of to draw two and then make that kick. And I thought that really changed the game. Uh, you know, we went zone a couple times to try to uh, negate that. Uh, but their point guards just did a, a phenomenal job when we did go man of attacking the rim or finding the open shooter and then being ready to knock down big shots. And for the players, I mean, I know that obviously this is not how you guys wanted to finish. But after COVID and everything else, playing, you know, one of the top teams in the country with a packed house full of energy like that. What, what does it mean to, to at least to, to go out in an atmosphere like this? Y'all got this. <laughs> um, I think just being in that kind of atmosphere, that's something that's really special. Um, and to have that be the last game that you play in, um, you can't really ask for anything better than that to get to that point. Um, and to be in a great atmosphere, a great arena, um, it's really special to go out that way. I mean, that's what you dream of as a little kid playing in the crowd like that. And I'll remember that for the rest of my life. Yeah, this will be, this will be something that I take with me forever. I am so proud to be a, pr a part of this team. Um, we battled, and, you know, these girls are my family. And uh, like State said, I wouldn't want to go out any other way with any other team. Yeah, too much, honestly, way too much. Um, half of my, my success is nothing without them. I mean, like Coach always says, like I get individual awards, but that's a team award. And um, these girls are bought into everything that I want, and I'm bought into what they want. And again, every day we're just going to war with each other, having each other's backs. And there's nothing more I could ask for. Um, these, these are a great group of girls. and. The girls in the locker room waiting for us to get back are even more special. So, um, again, this is this is a fantastic group. And like same question, just this senior class and what, what you guys are now and, and kind of their hand in the baton for you guys to keep going higher. I just, it's like a family here. I couldn't, these are my best friends. Like I said in the locker room, I'm not going to have any friends after this. But <laughs> you guys literally are my family, and you guys are just going to kick ass or butts um, next year. And I can't like, go <laughs> and be in the crowd with them and cheer them on. Go basketball. Go Big Blue. Go Big Blue. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. 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 Thank you.